Okay, in our previous tutorials, we've been looking at applying animation files from Mixamo that have a particular character structure in them and applying them to that character uh, in succession. And this has been working because this skeletal structure in this character is identical to the skeletal structure in these animation files. But what if we wanted to apply animations from one character to another. We've only been characterizing one character so far, and that had only been so that we could add them to a character track. Motion Builder has the ability to retarget animation from one character to the next, as long as they're both characterized. So let's take a look at what happens without using that feature and with using that feature. So I'll just start a new file, and I'm gonna import an entirely different character this time. So file open, and this is character 17, from Mixamo. I'm not going to bring in any animation and we should get this construction guy and then just like before I can take the character node here and drag it right onto the hips here and characterize because we're already in T-Pose biped. So now I've got a character named character. So I can go ahead in my story mode insert a character animation track and select a character for that. So all of that setup has been identical so far, but watch what happens when we apply an animation file from the bot to this character. So I'm just going to do bot walking, for example, right here, bot walking, open, and already you could see nightmarish, terrible, horrible things are happening. So the skeletal structure of this character here is just different than the robot and so the rotations are wrong and the directions are wrong and, and just bad 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 things are happening. So there's a couple ways of addressing this and basically it's that uh, we're going to always want to have characterized animation so that we could apply characterized animation to another character. Now one way is to have already characterized our character and uh, assembled the animation. So again we had this uh, Ybot walk fall story here. I think this was from our video two. I'm not going to save my changes. We'll bring in that animation. And so here's our robot character, Ybot bot character. And these animations are already in here. And the FBX file has a characterized Ybot inside it. And that's where all the animation is being applied. And remember, we also went ahead and baked that animation onto the skeleton of this character. So now, if I use that animation file, this story version 2, I can apply that in the story mode to our character 17. So let's go ahead and open up character 17 again. We're not going to import that character's animation. We'll go ahead and characterize this. And as a biped, we'll give it a character animation track. And now, if I insert the animation file that already has a characterized character in it. Even though this skeletal structure is different, it's been characterized. And so Motion Builder will apply that animation from one character to the next cleanly. And so now we have a completely different result, one that actually works. But we do have a little bit of a drawback in here, and that is that we don't have the ability to adjust all of those different animations anymore. So what if we want best of both worlds? Well, in that case, what we'll need to do is bring in both characters and have the story mode drive the character that matches the skeletal structure, and then simultaneously have that character driving the character we want. So let's take a look at that retargeting scenario. So I'll start by opening up my YBot characterized don't save and we don't need any takes and okay so here's our Y bot it's characterized in all sets so I can go ahead and insert a character animation track for this and have Y bot be the character and I'll just go ahead and insert an Y bot animation file again I'm just gonna go with that walking bot walking open and we can see that now this should work perfectly fine so this is the same file that did not work with our construction character. Okay, so there's our Ybot doing a nice walk. Let's go ahead and merge. That's basically the same thing as import, but we're gonna bring in another FBX file into this 
motion builder file. So we'll go ahead and merge. And then we'll go for that character 17. Open him up. Don't need any of his animation. Merge him in. Okay, so now we've got this additional character. Of course, he's not characterized yet. If I go back to my navigator and I expand characters, I only have the Y bot. So we'll take the character definition, drag it on to the joint system here, characterize biped. And now this is its own character called character. So now we want this character to behave like this one. All we need to do is change what's driving this. So I'll go over here to my character controls, select character. And as a source, instead of none, I'm going to select the Y bot. Click Y bot. And now this character is going to do anything and everything that Ybot does. If we want to just see that one character, I can go into the scene and I can find all my Ybot things. Come over to the right side and choose properties and uncheck visibility. Boom. So now the Ybot geometry is hidden. Let's go ahead to display mode models only. Here's our construction guy and he is walking cleanly because what's happening in story mode this animation matches the skeletal structure of the Ybot. It's being applied to the Ybot. And then everything that Ybot does as a character is being applied to our new character here. So if we want to go ahead and export this out to Unreal Engine, all we want to do is make sure to plot, bake plot to skeleton. So now all of that animation is applied to our skeleton. If we want to clean things up, we can go ahead and delete this story animation. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and right click and select branches for the Y bot and right click and delete and confirm. And yeah, let's delete all that. Yes to all. Nope. Delete the character. Yes to all. Yes to all. All right. So at this point, we should have cleaned out the Y bot. We just have the one character in here. And because we already plotted to the skeleton, this character has that animation. At this point, we could go ahead and file save as, and this would let us export a clean FBX file of this character. So CH17 walk fall V01. And there we go. That file could then be used in Unreal Engine. We're saving all the animations, save all, it's checked, exported, and we're good to go. Hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.